What is a permit scheme? Over the years, permit schemes have taken on multiple forms. So let's investigate the basic structure of what a permit scheme looks like. The, the basic structure of a permit scheme is that when you draw a schematic of it, it looks like a permit. So when you as an individual join the scheme, you buy in underneath someone and you form part of their pyramid structure. Everyone that buys in under you forms part of your pyramid structure. Now, different pyramid schemes have different rules of how the organization functions. And some you can start to earn immediately with the first person buying in underneath you. And others you have to wait before earning an income for example, you might only start earning an income after three or four people have joined, as an example. The greatest red light within a basic structure of a pyramid scheme is that there is never a product or real value exchange that occurs. Everyone buying into the scheme does so because of the promise to make a large sum of money. So, you can identify the fraudulent part of the scheme by doing some math. For instance, if you have to keep on recruiting new people in order for the pyramid scheme to sustain itself, you'll find that eventually you'll run out of people that will be able to join the scheme. In these cases, the pyramid scheme can no longer sustain itself and all the people who just joined the pyramid scheme at the bottom of the pyramid will lose their money as the pyramid will collapse before they are able to receive an income from the scheme. You'll find that the people who joined only joined the scheme to make money. The product or in some instances non-product had no specific value to the person personally. So over the years, uh, schemes have become very good at disguising itself. For example, there's a permit scheme that takes on the form of chain letters. When you receive a letter to take part in such a scheme, you'll find that the letter explains the whole system and promise you, even sometimes with testimonials, that the system works and you'll make a lot of money out of it. So all you have to do is join and by joining you are sending money to the person on the top of the list and thereby you can add your name to the bottom of the list and send the letter to for example 10 other people. In this way your, the letter with your name is distributed and it keeps on being distributed until your name reaches the top of the list whereby you'll find lots of letters in the post with lots of money in it, which is the promise of the pyramid scheme. You see, the only problem with in schemes like this is eventually you run out of people. You've sent it to all your friends, and you've sent it to all your family, and they've sent it to everyone they know, and the system dries up because there's only so many people that you know. and there's only so many people that they know, and there's only so many people that will actually participate in the scheme. <laughs> so when this um, system saturates, as mentioned, the permit scheme collapses, and everybody that was at the bottom of the list, everyone who just joined, essentially they lose their money as the system is not going to turn around to give them their large sums of money. 
Then there's the more sophisticated pyramid schemes. Um, these sophisticated pyramid schemes are schemes like Ponzi schemes, where you are under the impression that you are investing in offshore um, companies and you're under the impression that you just happen to find a very good broker who could deal a very who could create a very good deal for you where you are earning high yielding returns on the money that you're investing. Ponzi schemes are essentially where the owner or the administrator of the company uh, receives the monies, the investments from their inverted commas clients who gather all the money in one central pot, one central place where all the money is essentially stored. And as the new investors are buying in, this pot grows and keeps on growing. And the older investors, they are paid out money from this pot. So the system seems to be functioning, especially for the people that bought in at the beginning. And as they are seeing their own returns coming back, they will start investing more and more money as well. And they will also become great marketers because through word of mouth they will inform all their friends and family and everyone around them of this great scheme, of this great investment that they have um, participated within. Ponzi schemes are probably the most sophisticated types of pyramid schemes where one is under the impression that one is actually making an investment when it's actually fraudulent actions happening and there's no real investment happening. So here are some big questions that one can ask oneself in relation to pyramid schemes if you find yourself uncertain of what you are participating within. If the scheme is asking you to invest, find out what company am I investing in? Where is the money going to? If the returns are 3% above the average return rate of the current economic system, ask yourself Again, how is this return being generated? Do not just blindly accept information given to you. Follow the money. See how it's generated. Get an, a good idea, get a good grasp on how this system functions. In Swazi, no, what was in? In Lesotho, just a week ago, there was this great Ponzi scheme uncovered where one out of four people within Lesotho was taken for a ride within this Ponzi scheme. One out of four people is a lot of people. So one can only look at that system as being very sophisticated in hiding the information that well. Um, another type of schemes. If the scheme asks you to recruit new members, you can ask yourself these questions. Is the money generated only coming from new members joining? Um, more questions is, do I have to keep on recruiting new members to be able to earn an income? Is there a product with real value that I'm buying? Is there a limit to the levels of earning within the scheme? These are basic questions that one can ask oneself that will assist one to be able to see whether one is getting involved within a pyramid scheme. So investigate what one gets involved in. Do not fall for the get-rich-quick schemes, as these schemes usually rely on one's own greed to not look past what one is getting itself involved in.